Welcome. All right. So in this case, what I have is 5x cubed times y divided by x squared times y squared times y cubed divided by 15x squared. Now, if I want to multiply these, remember, just like when we multiply fractions, we multiply in rational expressions, or we can just multiply them straight across. So here, now, when I'm multiplying these, my only like terms that I have is my y and my y cubed. Now, remember, by my rules of exponent, if I have x to the a times x to the b, that equals x to the a plus b. So therefore, by multiplying these across, what I'm going to have is 5x cubed y to the 1 plus 3. Over here, my denominator, I can only multiply my x squared and my x squared. Um, those are the only terms I'm actually going to be able to combine with multiplication. So I have 15y squared x2 plus 2. Now, obviously, we can go ahead and simplify this. So I have 5x cubed times y to the fourth divided by 15y squared x to the fourth. Now, one thing I want you guys to understand is you know, it doesn't matter if I write this as 5 times. Um, if you have 5 times 4 is equal to 4 times 5, right? It doesn't matter which way, which, um, which order that you multiply these. It also is not going to matter which order you know, I'm going to be subtracting these. If these y's are not directly over each other, that's OK. If the x's aren't directly over each other, that's OK. But the operation of division is still being applied. And when we had divisions with exponents, when we multiplied, we added. Well, in division, we're going to now subtract. right? So now here, um, I have my numbers. And a lot of people go, oh, 15 over, 5 over 15, you know, that's 3. But we've got to remember, what we're trying to do is we're trying to simplify this. right? 15 doesn't divide into 5. But I can simplify this by dividing by a 5 on the top and on the bottom. And when doing that, I get 1 third. Then I just do x cubed minus. Um, or 3 minus 4, and then y to the fourth minus 2. Now, we have to remember when we have negative exponents or negative powers, we, can re we have to rewrite them as positive in the denominator. So therefore, I have 1 third x to the negative first, y squared. Since my x is negative to rewrite positive, I'm going to have to rewrite it in the denominator. So my final answer is going to be y squared over 3 x raised to the first power, which will just leave it as that. So therefore there, therefore, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you multiply your rational expressions. Thanks.